the way to make sense of all of the information that they're throwing at us here is to use a Carroll's diagram, also known as a double set matrix. So you'll have a fiction, not fiction, total, and you'll have paperback, hardcover, total. And what makes this question a bit harder is that if you look at the details, you discover that there are actually no books that are hardcover fiction. So when you build your double set matrix, make sure to put a zero in that spot where the hardcover fiction would go. And while you're at it, you can also throw the number 140 into the total total, because that's the, those are the things that we know from the question stem. Now, as we start diving into some more of the details, we discover that the number of nonfiction paperback books is 20 more than nonfiction hardcover. So if I throw an X into the nonfiction hardcover, I would have X plus 20 in the nonfiction paperback. And then we're told that there are twice as many fiction paperback as nonfiction paperback. So for the nonfiction paperback, we already had X plus 20. Doubling that would be 2X plus 40. So that's the number that I have for fiction paperback. Now, before I read the rest of the question, I notice that there is an inference that I can make now because I have the four mutually exclusive cells filled in, right? I have 2x plus 40, x plus 20, 0, and x. And if I add all of those together, I should get the total, which is 140. So building an equation, I have a total of 4x plus 60 equals 140. Subtracting 60 from both sides, I get 4x equals 80. And then dividing both sides by 4, I get x equals 20. Now I'm ready to finish reading the question. And it looks like they're asking for the number of nonfiction hardcover books, which I have as x. And I already know what x is. So as is so often the case, I already have the answer by the time I get to the question mark. The correct answer is, of course, 20. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.